it is National Storytelling Day today and also it is International Day of Happiness. So with those two things in mind, I am playing my part in this by sharing with you my favourite story that makes me happy. And all the credit goes to Charlie McCassie because he's made this beautiful book, The Boy, the Mole, the Fox and the Horse. And I have read this so many times to myself, to my children, to my family, after school clubs, mindful sessions that I deliver. And each time I get something out of this book and it does make me happy. It makes me feel not alone. The book's very relatable. And with it being International Day of Happiness, as I already said, um, and World Storytelling Day, for me, this is the perfect thing to share on here um, as a slightly longer story. Um, and I just wanna read it because I love it. It's also um, just a beautiful message. So anyone that's already read it will know that and all credit to him because this book is amazing. So the boy, the mole, the fox and the horse. Hello. I'm so small, said the mole. Yes, said the boy. But you make a huge difference. What do you want to be when you grow up? Kind, said the boy. What do you think success is? Asked the boy. To love, said the mole. Well, hello. Do you have a favorite saying? Asked the boy. Yes, said the mole. What is it? If at first you don't succeed, have some cake. I see. Does it work? Every time. I got you a delicious cake, said the mole. Did you? Yes. Where is it? I ate it, said the mole. Oh, but I got you another. Did you? Where is that one? The same thing seems to have happened. What do you think is the biggest waste of time? Comparing yourself to others, said the mole. I wonder if there is a school of unlearning. Most of the old moles I know wish they had listened less to their fears and more to their dreams. What is that over there? It's the wild, said the mole. Don't fear it. Imagine how we would be if we were less afraid. I'm not afraid, said the mole. If I wasn't caught in this snare, I'd kill you, said the fox. If you stay in that snare, you will die, said the mole. So the mole chewed through the wire with his tiny teeth. One of our greatest freedoms is how we react to things. I've learned how to be in the present. How? asked the boy. I find a quiet spot and shut my eyes and breathe. That's good. And then? Then I focus. What do you focus on? Cake, said the mole. 
Isn't it odd? We can only see our outsides, but nearly everything happens on the inside. Be careful not to fall. So much beauty we need to look after. Being kind to yourself is one of the greatest kindnesses, said the mum. We often wait for kindness, but being kind to yourself can start now, said the mum. Often the hardest person to forgive is yourself. Sometimes I feel lost, said the boy. Me too, said the mole. But we love you and love brings you home. I think everyone is just trying to get home, said the mole. Hello. Doing nothing with friends is never doing nothing, is it? Asked the boy. No, said the mole. You fall, but I've got you. Everyone is a bit scared, said the horse, but we are less scared together. Tears fall for a reason, and they are your strength, not weakness. What is the bravest thing you've ever said? asked the boy. Help, said the horse. When have you been at your strongest? asked the boy. When I have dared to show my weakness. Asking for help isn't giving up, said the horse. It's refusing to give up. Sometimes I worry you'll all realise I'm ordinary, said the boy. Love doesn't need you to be extraordinary, said the mole. We all need a reason to keep going, said the horse. What's yours? You three, said the fox. Getting home, said the boy. Cake, said the mole. I've discovered something better than cake. No, you haven't, said the boy. I have, replied the mole. What is it? A hug, it lasts longer. Nothing beats kindness, said the horse. It sits quietly beyond all things. Sometimes, said the horse, sometimes what? asked the boy. Sometimes just getting up and carrying on is brave and magnificent. How do they look so together and perfect? asked the boy. There's a lot of frantic paddling going on beneath, said the horse. The greatest illusion, said the mole, is that life should be perfect. Is it the moon? asked the boy. It's a teacup stain, said the mole. And where there's tea, there's cake. Be curious. Life is difficult, but you are loved. So you know all about me, asked the boy. Yes, said the horse. And you still love me? We love you all the more. Sometimes I think you believe in me more than I do, said the boy. You'll catch up, said the horse. The fox never really speaks, whispered the boy. No, and it's lovely he is with us, said the horse. To be honest, I often feel I have nothing interesting to say, said the fox. Being honest is always interesting, said the horse. There's something I haven't told you, said the horse. What's that? said the boy. 
I can fly, but I stopped because it made the other horses jealous. Well, we love you whether you can fly or not. Okay. Is your glass half empty or half full, said the mole. I think I'm grateful to have a glass, said the boy. We don't know about tomorrow, said the horse. All we need to know is that we love each other. When the dark clouds come, keep going. When the big things feel out of control, Focus on what you love right under your nose. This storm will pass. We have such a long way to go, sighed the boy. Yes, but look how far we've come, said the horse. Sometimes I want to say I love you all, said the mole. But I find it difficult. Do you, said the boy? Yes, so I say something like, I'm glad we are all here. Okay, said the boy. I'm glad we are all here. And we are so glad that you are here too. What's your best discovery, asked the mole. That I'm enough as I am, said the boy. I've realised why we are here, whispered the boy. For cake, asked the mole. To love, said the boy, and be loved, said the horse. What do we do when our hearts hurt, asked the boy. We wrap them with friendship, share tears and time, till they wake hopeful and happy again. Do you have any other advice, asked the boy. Don't measure how valuable you are by the way you are treated, said the horse. Always remember you matter, you're important and you are loved and you bring to this world things no one else can. Home isn't always a place, is it? Thank you. Look how far we've come. Sometimes all you hear about is the hate but there is more love in this world than you could possibly imagine. And for International Day of Happiness and World Storytelling Day, that combines both for me and I'm really grateful to the author of that book. If you haven't got a copy, well, it's well worth, uh, well worth having one. It's such, such a lovely book. Um, and you can always watch this and read along if you've already got it with the, the beautiful illustrations. It's lovely. But um, I hope you enjoyed and uh, have a happy, wonderful day full of stories. I'm Kelly and thank you for listening. <laughs>